mark gun here. As you can see, we are back in Sanctuary Hills. I and my new monster of a bodyguard and follower, Strong, the super mutant, whom we kinda sorta rescued or helped escape from uh, Trinity Plaza from his fellow super mutants. Uh, anyway, it's a long story. Um, but we are. Why are we back here in Sanctuary Hills when we probably You'll should find be? What you are looking for. I know it. Yes, uh, we should be trying to look for Mr. Nick Valentine, right? Well, I got to thinking because uh, the whole monster thing with uh, Strong here. No offense to Strong, but. He is a bit of a monster, isn't he? Anyway, um, yeah, I remembered that um, Preston, our fellow Minuteman, did say that the castle, the old Minuteman stronghold, was, uh, was lost because it was attacked by a monster. Now, he never really said what kind of monster, but it got me thinking that... I was probably a bit afraid and nervous about taking on this thing, this monster. What are you going to do with that? Uh, Hello, sir. Yep. And uh, so I was putting it off until until I realized, yes, we, I have a monster on my side, maybe. I have the muscle to back me up. Maybe it's time we reach up the castle. Hey, Preston? Hey. Do you think we're ready to retake the castle? <sighs> yeah, let's do this. We'll do some recon and meet you outside the castle. See you there. Oh. I really should give him a better gun. But he'll make do. Anyway, yeah, so, if, yes, so the castle is somewhere, where is it, here, and uh, Diamond City is here, and wherever Nick Valentine is, is somewhere here, so it's in the same general area. The thing is, if we retake the castle, we'll have a nice, strong base here, and then hopefully a Minuteman presence. From here, we'll be able to explore this area and have a bit of backup, I guess, when we're looking for Mr. Valentine. So, yeah, and uh, also, I'm actually curious about this. Vault 81. I don't know how I got this marker. Uh, I guess it was because of something uh, I found or exposed during my visit to Oberlin. So maybe while we're headed there to the castle, maybe Strong and I can pass by Vault 81 and see what it's about. I wonder if the people there are frozen something uh, horrible thought anyway yeah we yeah, I'll just uh, deposit deposit these um, junk uh, well, materials in the workshop then me and strong will be off Space is a bit of a premium. Okay. Anyway, I do have strong. So many humans, not many super mutants. Yes. Yeah, so you better behave, strong. Okay. Now, strong here. 
It's pretty much well armed. I put him in all the armor, sorry, the best I, armor. I, I wouldn't be very good company right now. I put him in the best armor that I could find from Trinity Tower's uh, former residence, and I gave him a nice gun or two. So he should be solid backup, as I said, a monster of a bodyguard. <laughs> all right, time to go. Yeah, and by the way, this uh, this pistol, this uh, 10 millimeter I have, is actually the Poisoner's Pistol, which I acquired in... Uh, well, actually, I got it near the Mass Pike Tunnel uh, during my time with uh, Miss Piper. So, you can see here. Let me just show it. Yep. Aside from being just as good as the nimble auto pistol, it also causes poison damage, which is awesome. Don't know how effective it will be against uh, against uh, robots, but hopefully it will be pretty effective against anything alive. Again, we just go south. Just go straight forward. Just go straight. Actually, been here before. We explored the little mole rat tunnel over there. Got some stuff. Not that much. But it was enough. Come strong. It's gonna be a while. Now, you may think that, uh, again, why am I not searching for Mr. Valentine right away? Because he can find Sean. Well, we don't really know if he can find Sean. Do you think I did? Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. Supposedly, Mr. Valentine can help find Sean. It's not like he he's gonna guarantee that we can find him. He's gonna help us find him. But what I do know is that the uh, wasteland is a very dangerous place. And we're going to need help in, well, in getting to Sean. Preston? Whoa! <laughs> Preston? Ah. Very nice guy Preston is. Here I was thinking that he'd just run off. No, he came back to help us. Now that is a class act. Awesome. Preston Garvey, I salute you. Oh, come on. Uh, okay, over there. Let's go. Better keep my gun out, just in case. Ok, 
Okay, yeah, I was I was saying, yeah. This is gonna be fun. Are you Who's next? As I did tell, or say some time ago, we're gonna need probably a lot of help to get to Sean. Given the fact that they're. Raiders like war paint, hide ugly faces. <laughs> That's. Alright. Okay, yeah. Steer clear of the gunners. Now, yeah, we're going to need help getting to Sean, probably. So the best thing to do will be for me to make sure that the Minutemen are a force to be reckoned with. And if I have them... Pushes anything. Do you know what that junk has done to my boy? He bought them fair and square, Trudy. Ain't our wall to be strung out. Now don't make me come in there and shoot up that little trading the post here. Looks like a little bit of an altercation. I think we should use. Little thing that we have. Whoa, whoa, easy there, scabber. Hey, this doesn't involve you. You stop waving that gun in my face, or it's gonna involve me. Okay, okay, just take it easy. Hmm. We'll lower our weapons, all right? Just don't do anything crazy. Okay. What's going on here then? What's going on here? That's a simple business dispute, got it? Trudy's sitting on a pile of goods that she owes me. I tried reasoning with her, but it looks like I gotta take what's mine by force. Wanna make some easy money? Help me out. I could use another gun. Or maybe you think you can talk some sense into her. <sighs> I'd rather that no one get killed. So I'll... Who is this Trudy first? Who's Trudy? See that diner right in front of us? Trudy owns the place. She's converted it into a small shop. I sell her chems, she gives me caps and parts I need. And when her son Patrick had his 18th birthday, I might have sold him some jet. Then some more. Then a lot more. Now he's in debt. Looks to me like they shouldn't have bought that jet, and you shouldn't have sold it to them. Yeah, well, hindsight's a bitch, and I'm holding the leash. Now, you gonna help us out, or what? All right. I'll, I'll talk, talk to her. Maybe we can work this out. I appreciate it. If things go sideways, we'll back you up. I'd rather not have people get killed. Miss Trudy. Excuse me. I saw you in that poison cellar talking. Well, he ain't getting his money. Period. <sighs> Look, you owe the money. If you just pay them, then this'll be over. Everyone walks away without getting hurt. All right, I'll pay. But that bastard ain't gonna sell one more drop of jet to my boy. You hear that, Wolfgang? Of course. You'll get your damn money, but I better not catch you selling chems to my boy again. Fine by me, Trudy. Your son's broke as shit anyhow. All right. <sighs> Crisis is over. If you're here to trade, step up to the counter. Well, let me see what you have. Hey there. We're open for business again. A little lighter in the pocket, thanks to you. 
Oh, don't. How about you buy something and make it up to us? Of course I will. I've got a few minutes to browse. It's all worth every cap I'm charging. Uh, don't be so sour. Oh. I have to say, Reginald's suit's pretty good. Okay, let's sell some. All right, I'll sell you some buff out <laughs> with chems, but well, they're the best stuff that I have. These, I guess, hub flower. Okay. I'm actually the one buying from her. Um, if I buy these, yeah, why not? I guess I owe her a bit, but then I also want to sell you stuff. Sell her a buff out. So this irradiated blood. Uh, I saw it's psycho Brad Roach meat. I have a ton of stim packs. That's awesome. Um, See that I have a lot of ammo. Maybe I can sell her flares. Uh, fusion. I have nine fusion cores. That's awesome. Show her this. I'm not selling her the nuke. Missiles. Railway. What are those for? Missiles. I really don't have missiles. Blood for me, blood for me. You know, I shouldn't feel so guilty. I just saved you people from killing yourselves. But then again, still. I always get lots of purified water anyway. Rad X. We get a lot of Rad X. Let's sell some. Nice round number. Okay. What else do you have? Um, weapons. <sighs> what? General Chow's Revenge. <laughs> Interesting. But not... How much? Not today. Got lots of suppressed stuff. I like that. Anyway, yeah, that's it. I gave you a lot of money, so you better be thankful. Okay. All right. Let's save it over here. Oh, where are you? Okay. We get paid, and I don't even gotta shoot nobody. Good job. Here. Now how about I show you all the pick-me-ups I have to offer? Um, well, let's see. Let's see what you have. I got stuff that'll blow your mind. Uh, just... Nah, nothing really. I got a lot. Alright. Well, at least here. Oh, and Carla's here. So at least here we have everyone's alive and hopefully they'll coexist and be able to protect each other if there's trouble. So I think we did good.
Even if they had two? Well, I'm pretty sure I'm the one who lost the most money here. So we just go forward. I'm the one who lost the most money because I felt kind of guilty. But come on. It's better that they all come out of it alive instead of just killing each other. For a few caps. What's this? Of course, Master. It's the one and only Master. Alright. Uh, we can get expert locks. Or I can get the first rank of science. I think I'm getting this. I've been wanting to get that. So I can upgrade my laser weapon. When I get the opportunity to do so. Okay. Just follow the tracks. It should lead us straight through Oberlin Station. Okay, strong, please. Keep yourself. Oh. Perfect. Oh, let's open it. Uh, weapon. No. Damn it. I could use a full suit of power armor. Particularly if we're headed for a Deadly confrontation with God knows what, God knows where, God knows when. Preston, you better gather an army of Minutemen to help us retake that place. Still not that convinced that we really need it. I mean, the sanctuary is a great place. and it even comes with its own fusion core. <sighs> well, we're taking it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have a freaking helmet. Doesn't have a freaking helmet. You know what? That's pretty stupid. Uh, give me that fusion core. And I kind of wasted a fusion core. Anyway, I'll come back for it. Come back for it. Damn it. Oh. Never know what you gotta find on the tracks. 
Let's hurry strong. Are we going the right direction? Yes. Just follow the tracks. Just follow the tracks. Damn, it's raining. Uh oh. Yeah, not worth it for the reds. And then again, I do have red X. Let's use it. This. Of course I can't open Ah, let's go, strong. Damn it, that was horrible radiation. Come on. Oh my god. Just keep straight ahead. There, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is really creepy. Maybe I should just turn off the light. Strong, please keep on my back. Please do not. Great guard. This is the place run by robots. Hey, Mr. Handies. Hello? Ready to begin your fabulous shopping spree? <laughs> you sound like a game show host. That's the correct answer. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, should we tell the lucky contestant what fabulous prize he's won? What did I win exactly? Right this way, please. Let's take a look at your fabulous prize. Uh. Um. Thank you very much. A new car. And I just realized I am out of my cage armor. Which is utterly stupid. That's why I was getting wet. Anyway, um... So handy. There's something else here. Bring me some milk fruits this evening. And there'll be caps for your pocket. Off you go, then. Uh, Supervisor uh, Brown. Caps for milk fruits. That's the way. Alright. Whoa. You're a nice and white one. Welcome to Grey Garden, darling. Oh. This is the Commonwealth's first and only hydroponics facility, run entirely by robots. There's not even one person here? Can't eat metal men. Just smash them. That's right, darling. We are entirely self-sufficient, with no need for human guidance. You see, there are two kinds of robots here. The worker drones carry out labor and maintenance. We supervisors, that is myself, green and brown, possess sophisticated cognition processors. We are capable of complex analysis and decision making, a testament to the genius of our creator, Dr. Edward Gray. 
Oh, Gray as in Gray Garden. I remember him. He was one of Robco's senior engineers, but more than a little eccentric. You seem a bit confused, darling. You're far too young to remember anything that happened before the war. Uh, it's a long story. It's a long story. Of course, darling. A lady knows when not to pry. Now, <laughs> where was I? Robotics and artificial intelligence were our creator's great passions, rivaled only by his love of television. Perhaps yeah. you've noticed that I possess a rather singular personality, as do the other supervisors. Robot talk almost as much as human. Just smash it! Cut that out. Strong. Well, it's definitely unique. Sort of hard to miss. I'll take that as a compliment, darling. After all, the last thing any woman wants to be is ordinary. A few other things you should know. Talk to Green if you need supplies. If it's caps you require, Brown might have a few or jobs. Ah, uh, there's one other thing. A question, really. Tell me, darling. What do you think of the water around here? It's nothing special. Oh, it's ghastly. That's what it is. Simply ghastly. Pressure is down. Radiation is up. Why, it's practically toxic. Just think what it must be doing to my skin. <laughs> this will never do. I don't mean to impose, darling, but perhaps you could lend us a hand. All right. All right. Marvelous. Simply marvelous. Most of our water comes from the old western plant, south of here. Such an eyesore. Be a dear and pay a visit, hmm? See what you can do. Maybe tidy up the place. It must be filthy. If you can get it working again, I'm sure I can come up with something for you. All right. A reward from a robot. Anyway, I guess this means this place might be actually a settlement we can have. Huh. That will be quite cool. To have a settlement run pretty, pretty much by robots. So they're asking us... South. Is actually near Oberlin. It's along the way. Maybe we could check it out. Anyway, yeah. Let's go. Come on, strong, and do not, do not crush any of the robots. That was. Quite interesting. I really like robots. I mean, of course, I have old Cogsworth, and he's got quite the personality himself. I mean, they're just limited by their bodies. I mean, they look like giant metal octopi, but the way they act, it's really almost human. Ah. Uh, And that's the Beantown Brewery. The waterworks should be over there. Let's get to Oberlin first. Ah, as you can see, Oberlin Station, a beacon of light in the middle of the dark. Ah, hello there. Hello. Can we trade a few things? Of course. Uh, well, you really could do with a better weapon, but uh, I actually don't have anything right now. Very strong. Strong. Oh, come on. Oh, there he is. I'm glad that you know that he's not hostile. Hey. Alright. 
Unfortunately, I have nothing. Smashing. Okay. Yeah. So. Let's check out this, um, plant, I guess. All right. Let's see what we can see. Um, oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. <sighs> Super mutants. The fun never stops. 